Hey Reptile fam, meet Gerald. He's eight years old and he's a total warrior. But what you might not notice right away is that Gerald lives with metabolic bone disease. It's a condition that affects thousands of pet reptiles, often due to preventable care mistakes. So today we're gonna to talk about it, how to recognize it and how to prevent it. Metabolic bone disease, also known as MBD, is a disorder caused by calcium deficiency or poor calcium absorption. In bearded dragons, this can lead to soft, brittle bones, deformities, muscle tremors, and even paralysis if left unrecognized and untreated. It is most common in young bearded dragons, but it can also affect adult bearded dragons, especially if their habitats aren't dialed in. There are three big causes of MBD. One, lack of UVB lagging. Bearded dragons need UVB to produce vitamin D3, which lets them absorb calcium. Without it, the calcium just passes through their system. Two, poor diet. A calcium deficient diet, like too many bugs without gut loading them, or low calcium veggies, sets them up for failure. And three, no supplementation. Even with a decent diet and lighting, most dragons still need calcium powder a few times a week. Gerald developed NBD as a baby because his early care was missing the essentials. He's doing well now, but his effects are permanent. As you've noticed, his little mouth is always open. He also moves a little bit slower, but his quality of life is good because he's now well taken care of. If you are worried about your bearded dragon, here's some red flags to look out for. Limping or twitching limbs, soft jaw or face bone, curved spine or tail, difficulty lifting their body, shaky movements or tremors, Always consult an exotic vet if you notice any of these signs. Early intervention is what really matters for these babies. Preventing MBD isn't hard, but it does require commitment. You should always be using a high quality UVB, like a T5 high output 10.0, replace it every six to 12 months. Dust their food with calcium powder three to five times a week. Gut load your feeder insects and offer calcium rich greens like collard greens, mustard greens, dandelion greens. Make sure their basking temperature is around 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit for proper digestion. Gerald's story is a reminder that even if mistakes were made in the past, education can change everything. So let's give our dragons the strong, healthy life that they deserve. Share this video to help other reptile keepers and subscribe for more bearded dragon tips. Got questions about your setup? Drop them in the comments. I'm here to help.